Hello, this is Victor at HistoriaMercedes.com. This video is for Luke in state of Washington. And it's also going to be a little kind of informational video because I never had one of these made. So, here on my bench I have two wiring harnesses that I made for a customer, okay? So these are the ones that are, that are for V12 engines, 92 to 95. And these go to mass airflow sensors. Those are the ones, the sensors that are immediately in front of the air like air uh, air intake boot that connects from the throttle body to the to the mass airflow sensor so v12 two throttle bodies two harnesses two mass airflows and so forth now they all go bad this is biodegradable harnesses uh, 92 to 95 they all go bad it's just a matter of when and and what climate these uh these the the, the car was used in if it's a hot climate california texas they will fail faster and mileage also, climate control, or many factors in other words. If you have climate control garage, then most likely they'll, they'll hold on a little better. Low mileage, yes, they might hold on a little better. But if you twist them a little bit too much, you can break insulation in them, and then you can damage the engine badly. I had customer who burned up three engines just because of that. I have a car that uh, my wife drives, that car caught fire, catalytic converters caught fire literally underneath you can see so they're all burnt because one of these harnesses failed it shorted out to rich condition fuel was dumping in and it was burning inside catalytic converter she stopped because she smelled it she looks under there's like glowing red catalytic converter fire department came long story short bad news so that is that's what can happen and well thank god my engine survived but some engines are not that lucky so anyway these harnesses, they used to be available, but I don't believe they are any, they're available any longer. I think they're all no longer available. I don't know. Uh, this is the way I do mine. I don't buy them. I put my Teflon cables. I do this my way. Um, these two, believe it or not, even though they look so short and it's just like, oh, well, it's so easy, right? Yeah, but by the time I was finished with them, it took me like about five hours to do these. Okay, long time. It's funny, but it is because it's all manual labor and it's all, you know, it all has to be done nice because these are, these are something that you see once you open the hood, you see the mass airflows, you see these plugs. I mean, if the plugs are butchered and done pretty like ugly, and um, I mean, they're not factory, of course. I mean, I had to open them up. Then obviously it's gonna look pretty terrible. So this is what the way I do and they look pretty good. Um, you know, I, you know this, is, this is what I do, it's, it's just nice all sealed off nicely too and also i put in a quick uh, quick legend here a little legend here not nothing nothing crazy uh, because if you attempt to do this then you have some knowledge in wiring because if you just never did wiring uh, you know you don't need this i mean this is going to be a nightmare because you have to pull out con computers you're going to solder underneath the computers you can break pins you can break plugs there's a lot of underwater stones here, so you have to really be careful what you're doing. Um, it's not something... I've seen a lot of problematic, uh, you know, <laughs> installations. I have a co local customer who some guys did it for them. Oh, God, that, that, that's like, that's horrible. I had another customer who supposedly paid for the full rewire, and they did only portion of it, and the car still shorts out. And, you know, his engine just goes up, down, up, down, RPM, sometimes it dies, sometimes it just jolts forward. There's a, there's a lot of things here to consider, so therefore, you want to make sure these are done right, all the way to the computer. So again, I have two, two, two pigtails that I made, so I'm going to send to, to Luke in Washington State, and I put in, this is LH1, and this is LH2, um, yellow, and uh, a blue connected on the computer and you know obviously all of these you will cut off once you solder and you don't need these annotation anymore and you might want to do it uh, you know I don't leave so much extra wires although there is room there in the computer box but I would probably trim them like around maybe here or like up to here but anyway I just made them a little longer let them be if you want to I mean fine I mean these are already uh, soldered like solder is added to the to the tips if you want I mean I don't know but um, that's a little too long and then you cut these off well you don't have to but I would I would not leave them there um, and on on top of that um, I'll just give you a legend here just so you have it this is the the printout of electrical diagram would be pretty much is the same thing that I just wrote on these on this clear tape just in case it's just like a doubling um, of 
the pinouts. Okay, I don't use this. I mean, I don't I don't put my labels. I'll just I remember where they go, but I just go by diagram. I just have this diagram next to me when I solder these to the computer to the to computer connectors. So I just have that, and that's it. Then I cross reference each point, like pin number one, pin number two, pin number three. So you see there's a writing there. One, two, three, four, five. So let's say pin once I'm done, I just go and check pin number two. That will correspond to um, number 34. Okay. I also write down original color code because by the computers over there, uh, colors are usually are visible. Okay, colors are usually are usually visible. You can see colors. Um, whereas that at the end of the connector on the original wiring, it, the insulation can flake off to a point where it's just dust, so you never see no colors. But at the com in the computer box, because it's cooler there, and um, you can still recognize colors. The cracking is going to be way less severe inside the you know right under computer connector. So that makes it a little easier to solder. I mean, sometimes it's bad. You can't solder to those wires. You have to clean them up with the wire brush or blade or something so you can, so the solder can stick to, but sometimes not. So it's just, this is basically what it is. So you have to uh, figure that out. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna send this just, just, just so let it be. And pigtails. The next on the agenda today is mm, throttle body repair. So I have both throttles, it's a 93 600 SL, 92, 90, uh, 92, 93, 94, 95, they're all the same. The pinouts for V12s to the old computers are the same. It's just that the wires are different. Okay, so basically we'll cut it, cut, you know, we'll finish at this. These are done, so I'll put them aside and yeah, I'll go start on throttle bodies. And these are the master flow sensor pigtails done for Luke and State of Washington. All right, well, this is Victor at historymercedes.com and thank you for watching.